a means of interacting with God, a way to commune with God. It's access and a wonderful privilege that we have to be able to communicate with our Heavenly Father. But too often we tend to approach prayer with this asking and receiving mentality. Yes, we can take everything to the Lord in prayer as we should, but it's so much more than that. It's this element of being able to also just sit and be with him and dwell with him in both the good times and the bad. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 through 18 alludes to this so well. It says, rejoice always, pray constantly, give thanks in everything for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Always, constantly, everything. Here's the thing about prayer. As long as we are here in this broken world, our prayer life can always grow. We will never reach a point of enough prayer until the day that we are face to face with him in heaven, the day we are literally with him, spending time with him in fellowship and communion and it's constant. Prayer is essential and prayer takes practice. But prayer is the means of interacting with and spending time growing our relationship and our love for a God who already created us and loves us unconditionally. A God who sent his son to die on a cross for our sins, raised him from the dead three days later so that we may have an eternal hope. Why wouldn't you want to spend time with him? One of my favorite ways to spend time with God and in prayer specifically is praying through the Psalms. So let this be an encouragement to you this week. Try it out. Pick a Psalm and use it to pray, but also to sit and acknowledge who God is. Use the words of David or other authors that were divinely inspired and dwell with God in those moments. Rejoice always, pray constantly, have a great week.